In this report, I'm going to tell you when we will see Toyota's solid-state batteries after all. The Japanese automaker, as some of you may know, has planned for not only one, but several electric vehicle families. And guess what? Each of them will get its own battery type. Of course, we were expecting that each electric vehicle will have its own battery. But in this case, out of these several Toyota electric vehicle families, each of them will get their own battery type. Toyota has revealed roadmap for several types of batteries it plans to begin producing this decade with four separate families of batteries meant for different vehicles. And the Japanese automaker plans to introduce solid state batteries to its vehicles in the 2027 28 timeframe, predicting a fast charging time of 10 minutes or less. Toyota is also working on LFP batteries that Tesla uses in its vehicles, which will arrive sooner and will be aimed at less expensive mass-produced models, promising a significant reduction in cost compared to the batteries currently used in the busy Forex Toyota electric um, vehicle. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Before we get started, please take a moment and subscribe to this channel for daily automotive and electric vehicle Tesla news and give us thumbs up if you find this podcast interesting and informative. Toyota may be just getting started in the electric vehicle race. It has a grand total of one battery electric model on sale but the Japanese automaker is already planning several generations ahead when it comes to batteries. It revealed a detailed roadmap for its battery technology during the launch of a battery electric vehicle factory in Europe and it's nothing short of ambitious. The automaker unveiled plans for four next generation batteries it intends to produce in the coming years, each with different goals, different technology, different ranges, and each of these four battery types at different price points. When it comes to batteries with liquid electrolytes, Toyota divided them into three separate categories. First, the automaker's performance lithium-ion battery technology is slated to arrive in 2026 and promises a range of over 497 miles, that's 800 kilometers, in addition to a 20% reduction in cost compared to current lithium-ion batteries found in the busy Forex. This category of battery also promises a rapid recharging time of 20 minutes or less. Now, before I continue, I would like to say this, friends. Toyota better to hurry up because this past two days, we're hearing news about the Chinese automaker, NIO, that its ET7 is getting 621 miles on single charge in semi-solid state batteries. And if Toyota's plans start in two years, coming arriving in 2026 uh, with 497 miles, this kind of late in game. And I don't know where Tesla will be by then. The second battery type from Toyota, battery family, is dubbed popularization. And it will be a lithium iron phosphate, LFP composition promising a 20% increase in range as well as 40% reduction in cost compared to the busy Forex. And as you may know, Tesla is using LFP batteries in some of its vehicles, I think Model 3 and Model uh, Y, especially in China, and the results have been pretty interesting. This battery type, the LFP battery type, which is lithium iron phosphate composition battery type, is slated to arrive also in 2026 or 2027 and will target a fast recharging time or half an hour or less. Now remember, so far, Toyota is saying it will have two battery types coming in 2026-2027. So let's see and wait two more years and see how things go. So it will be a bit slower to recharge the LFP compared to the first battery type, but will still offer more range than the battery found in the automaker's debut electric SUV. 
Here's a quote I want to present from uh, uh, President of Battery Electric Vehicle Factory, Takeru Kato. We will need various options for batteries, just like we have different variations of engines. It is important to offer battery solutions compatible with a variety of models and customer needs, said Takeru Kato, President, Battery Electric Vehicle Factory. The third battery type Toyota plans to put into production in the coming years has been dubbed simply high performance, pairing a high nickel cathode with a bipolar structure with lithium ion chemistry battery. This battery promises to be 10% less expensive to produce than the performance type and will also offer a charging time of 20 minutes or less. This battery type is currently expected to arrive one year later than what I just said. This is expected to arrive in 2027-2028. Finally, Toyota is also working on solid-state battery technology, still kind of an important battery for developers. Even with a few claimed breakthroughs by a number of tech startups, solid-state batteries aren't expected to arrive until the second half of the decade in the best-case scenario by most estimates, and Toyota's own efforts reflect this view as well. However, we were surprised last couple of days by the Chinese company NIO with its semi-solid battery, solid-state battery, that semi-solid-state battery, getting 1,000 kilometers on single charge, which is 621 miles. As other developers, Toyota has been working on solid-state compositions for several years, hoping to combine a more compact design that can hold more power with rapid charging and discharging capabilities. The trade-off until now has been an expected shorter battery life. However, recent technological advancements by Toyota have overcome this challenge and the company has switched its focus to putting solid-state batteries into mass production, Toyota notes. This battery type is still projected to arrive in this decade by 2027 or 2028, so think of it like in four years, according to the automaker's internal estimates, promising 20% increase in range compared even to the performance battery family and a fast charging time of 10 minutes or less, both ambitious targets. But Toyota is betting on one other factor to increase electric vehicle range, even with these next generation of batteries, aerodynamics. And this means batteries that will have to be flatter. If the height of the battery can be reduced, then it will follows, uh, then it follows that the overall height of the vehicle can be reduced, CDA can be improved, and overall range can be increased, the automaker points out. We've already gotten a preview of just how low Toyota will go with the new 2023 Prius Hybrid, which features a very rackish windshield to squeeze out more aerodynamic efficiency. This thinking will be applied to battery packs as well, Toyota hints. Today, the battery pack of the BZ4X, including casting, is around 150 mm high, the automaker noted. Tomorrow, Toyota plans to reduce the battery height to 120 mm from 150 and even 100 mm in the case of high-performance sports vehicles where a low hip position is also desirable. In other words, Toyota is using the aerodynamics to make the vehicles more sleek, uh, less um, weight, uh, re reduce the weight, and make more get more range for its vehicles. So, of course, before all of these batteries arrive, Toyota has to bring more electric vehicles to market with its existing technology, which has gotten a bit of kind of shaky start with issues that were seen in the debut of BZ4X, and I've reported that at Torque News, the rare and embarrassing stumble for the automaker renewed concerns that it was trying to make up lost time when it comes to battery research and development after largely ignoring the electric vehicle craze of the 2010s and spending time and money on hydrogen technology. So what do you think, friends, about Toyota's plans and four types of batteries that Toyota plans to bring uh, between 2026 and 2028? 
good plans late this is armen harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to this channel for daily automotive news give us thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below let's have a discussion on the topic see you soon in our next report